r slash talus from retail episode 30 i can't change the law my state recently changed the law and alcohol sales are now allowed on sundays in retail stores before only winners and macro breweries could sell takeout alcohol the law is still pretty restrictive 12 pm to 8 pm on sunday our registers literally will not allow us to sell outside those hours guy gets in my line First and foremost he places his case of beer on the belt. I'm still waiting on my current customer and glance at my monitor to see it is 11.48 am. She's disputing some of the prices, so I have to focus on her. Finally his turn. He's now known as Beer Guy, BG, and I'm me. Me, how are you today? BG, grunt me, unfortunately, sir, it is 11.53 am. I cannot sell you this beer for 7 more minutes. BG, are you fucking kidding me? Me, no, I'm not. Alcohol sales are only allowed from 12pm to 8pm. The register will not even allow me to ring the beer up. BG, try it anyway. Me, asterisk scans beer, get Sarah message, it says item not for sale. BG, make it me, excuse me? BG, make it go through. Me, sir, there's nothing I can do until noon. BG, store manager now. Me, she's not available right now. Unfortunately the only managers in the store army, and another that's been here less than a year. There's nothing we can do until noon. It's now 11.56. You have about 4 minutes. BG, no. I do not want any of it. I'm not waiting. And he walked off, leaving all of his groceries. Crazy lady tries to steal an XBOX before the store opens. I work as a warehouse stock person in an electronics store. Basically, I go around to every shelf in the departments and make sure the products are in the place they should be. It's a pretty easy gig, especially since I clock in and clock out before the store opens, so I never interact with customers until today. It was a pretty typical morning of checking off the shelved products when I heard someone loudly banging on the locked front doors. I could hear it all the way from the back of the store where I was wrapping a security tag onto an Xbox One X, important for later. While carrying the Xbox, I walk into view of the doors and see a 30-something year old woman banging her fist on the glass. I saw that she was wearing a jacket with the company color on it, so I assumed she was a co-worker. She stopped banging when she saw me and waved hello. Remember, I only work the before opening shifts, so I never interact with customers, but I also don't know all of my other co-workers who do work during store hours. I thought to myself oh, she must be one of the sales reps, because they often come in 30 minutes early if they have an opening shift, and it was around 40 minutes until opening, so it didn't raise any alarm with me. I walk up to the front doors. There are two sets of them with a vestibule in between them. The first set opens to the outside and lets you into the vestibule. The second set opens to the vestibule and lets you into the store. The lady is standing outside. I take this box I was holding and place it on a register counter nearest the doors. I unlock the second set of doors and step up to the first set and begin pushing it open when the lady shoves her body through the opening of the doors. I guess waiting two whole seconds for me to finish opening the door was too much for her. She is already past the second set doors and walking into the store when I finish closing and locking both sets. She wasn't walking to a register to clock in, she wasn't directly walking to any department, all she did was quickly look around the store before turning back to me and says where is your game section? I'm looking for a switch. My. Heart dropped. She was a customer that I let into the store before opening. Big no no. I start to internally panic a little but think to myself that all I need to do is get her out of the store. Me, I'm sorry ma'am, but we don't open for another 40 minutes. I thought you were one of my co-workers when I let you in. The crazy lady rolls her eyes and says the website says that you open at 8 a.m. It is 8 20. Me, asterisk our asterisk website says 9am. I'm telling you 9am, you need to leave. 
Crazy lady, I only need to buy a switch. I will be 10 minutes. She begins to walk further into the story when I stand in her path. Me you can buy whatever you want at 9am but right now, you need to leave. This lady is getting pissed and says I want to speak to your manager right now. Now, I was the only one working in the warehouse that morning. We are really understaffed, but there was a supervisor in the back office doing paperwork. The supervisor is a really understanding dude, so I knew he wouldn't get mad at me for letting this crazy lady in by mistake, but I made the idiot decision to deal with this myself. Me, I'm the only one here, now leave. This is a good time to tell you all that I'm a 5 feet 3, 110 pounds female who looks like a 15 year old when I'm really in my 20s. I do not look intimidating in any way. The crazy lady got this smirk on her face and said fine, I'll go and when she started to walk to the doors I think that's the end of it until she grabs the XBOX off of the counter and tries to unlock the doors. I rushed up to her and begin to tug at this box while yelling at her to let go and I will call the police. This box was wrapped in a security tag so the whole time this tug of war was happening the door alarms are blaring because of the tag. My supervisor hears the alarm and comes out of the back office to find me wrestling with this fucking crazy Karen. He comes over to help but not before the crazy lady punched me hard in the stomach. I'll let go of this box to hold my stomach, but she still doesn't have the door unlocked. I ended up puking on her and this box because she punched me so hard. She drops this box and goes to hit me again, but I saw this one coming and mustered up all my strength and rage to kick her square in the chest. I might not look strong, but I can damn well be when needed, but I only had the strength for that one kick, I rolled into a ball and agonized over the pain afterwards. My supervisor called the police while the woman whined in pain and was still trying to unlock the door. I guess she didn't realize that keys are used to open doors. Edit, typus, rugless. I work for large Swedish furniture retailer as a cashier, we close at 9 o'clock and we often manage to get all the customers out the store by 9, colon 10 ish. I had this one family just after 9 o'clock who had been at my till for quite some time now, it normally takes 2-3 to three minutes to serve one person with that amount of shopping, but the family I served spend ages and were collectively arguing over silly little things and asking me which products were better value for money, I'd understand with a large piece of furniture but arguing with each other between £3 or £4 fairy lights is ridiculous. I told the mother who looked as though she was buying all the products before me that I wouldn't scan anything until she had decided this affects my performance ratings and stressed how the shop was already closed. She sarcastically sympathized with me before blatantly talking to her family about my awful customer service. Eventually we came to scan some rugs she picked up which showed up as £85 on the till. The mother then asterisk expload asterisk and asterisk demanded asterisk I reduce the price to £35 as she allegedly saw a label for it. I didn't believe this and called someone from the rugs department to check the label and all the while she was right next to me shouting how she would take the phone from my hand and explain how asterisk I'm offering a very poor service and should be sacked asterisk. I had to cover my ear to hear the man from rugs and apparently the 35 pounds rug the family supposedly thought they picked up was a smaller size than the 85 pound rug. These two rugs were the exact same design however the 35 pounds being a smaller size. I explained this to the family and they then accused me of selling them a rug they had never seen before and how I was basically robbing them Si. My manager heard the commotion and offered to walk the mother over to see the rug in question which slowly defused the whole situation and eventually left rugless. What perplexed me most was not only how the mother would shout at me, but how her daughter and sons would follow suit in shouting at me with their mother. I shake my head at them. Some customers are so stupid. I worked in a retail chain in the middle of a busy city in England about 10 years ago. The long tedious days of tidying up after us whole customers made me leave in the end but that's not what this story is about. The company was a big nationwide one and even had some international shops and they ran promotions in different forms from one time to another. 
This one time I remember we had a ridiculous way of marketing a promotion, usually it would just be a blanket 20% off women's wear, or formal wear etc or £10 discount, if you spend £40 etc. This particular time our manager explained that we had to give the customer a scratch card with 15% discount on every single one, but that we had to explain the card to customers, even though it was printed on the scratch card, but just to speed things up a bit, and give the customer the gist of the competition, but most importantly not to let anyone fail to get the discount. The question on the card was what is an anagram of discount? I remember panicking, because I couldn't remember what an anagram was, and not wanting to look stupid in front of my manager quickly read the two options discount or sausage. After realizing it couldn't be sausage, and it had to be discount as there were no s's in discount it. I remember thinking oh god we're gonna have, so many people struggle with this question I kind of felt bad for the customers the first few days, and if the struggled. To remember what an anagram was, I would explain it was like countdown and it's just the letters in a different order. This got boring really quickly, so I just decided that as the tickets were identical I'd just tell the customers it was answer A and they would get their discount. After about a month of this, I got so bored of it, I just let customers deal with it themselves, and if they got it wrong just give them a new one, and say try again, the tickets are identical. After about 5 weeks of the 6 week promotion even the world's stupidest customer comes to my till, I give her her scratch card, I scan her stuff, remove the security tags, bag it up, and before I hit total I have to scan the scratch card to apply the discount, so I ask the lady for the scratch card, she has scratched on to B, it says sorry you weren't correct or something to that effect. Not wanting her to lose the discount. I gave her a new one and she scratched off B again. I explained that the tickets were identical, and she should have another go. She scratched off B again. At this point I wondering if she is taking the piss, but I'm a bit bored so whatever. I give her a fourth scratch could be again. The is starting to grow a bit now, and even though there are 7 or 8 tills, it's a busy shop, so I say this will have to be your last go I'm afraid, and give her a scratch card. I have no words as I saw her scratch off B again. At this point I had to tell her that I'm sorry, but she does not qualify for the 15% discount, and she quite merrily paid full price then said I can't believe how unlucky I'm 5 wrong in a row I said yes you must be very unlucky that's a record in this store and she went on her way. I told my boss and the girls that worked there about it, and we all had a good laugh and that year at the Christmas party ever person got a joke award prize, and I got mine for the only person in the store to refuse a customer free discount. I hope he was being sarcastic. So, I'm back, and have transferred from the truck stop to another location who needed an asm thank god, the old store was toxic, hair tearing and I just needed to do tfo of it asterisk, so this dude came this evening, to buy his blunt wraps. I ask for id, doesn't have it. Q mini discussion, why I won't sell it, and me literally responding on repeat. Dude leaves comes back in 5 minutes later and asks, do I need ID to buy a car wash, asterisk I stare at him, like an octopus in s-u-n-l-i-g-h-t asterisk me, uh, are you serious? Dude, well yeah you eyed me for the gas, do I need it to buy a car wash? Me, why would you need ID to get a car wash? Why would you think you would? Dude just stares. Then does that huffy sighing thing, and ends up storming out. Y'all. Please, please tell me this guy was not being serious. My brain still kinda hurts from this moment. It's too early for this. This is my first time posting any kind of text story to Reddit, so please be gentle with my formatting mistakes. Background I'm the manager of a store in the rent to own industry. I fell into it like 8 years ago and well, bills kept me working here. I have a lot of wonderful customers, and an equal number of infuriatingly stupid ones. That's just the business. A few months ago I had a long time customer want to swap out merchandise on an account she was halfway done paying on. There are two ways I can do this. One is to type up a brand new agreement, and adjust the number of payments remaining. The other is to just do an inventory swap. This means that all of the terms 
Payment amount. Number of payments remaining. ETC. Remain exactly the same. The only thing changed is the merchandise being paid on. That's it. We did the swap. I knew it would screw me a little since the new system had a higher cost, but this was a good customer and I wanted to make them happy. Today so the store opens at 10a and it's 9a when this customer pulls up outside. Since I knew she was just making a payment, I'll let her in an hour early. She immediately starts yelling about not getting credit for her old merchandise. Now she wasn't exactly articulate, so it took a minute to understand her complaint. One-sided, I repeatedly tried to show her that we did an inventory swap, so she hasn't lost a single penny of what she paid on the old inventory. She just keeps shouting that she doesn't want to hear it, and a female district manager told her that she didn't get credit, we don't have a female district manager. Every single manager above me is male. All the way up to the CEO. My staff is also entirely male aside from me. Hearing this she starts saying that I must have told her this then. I try again to explain that I wouldn't have told her that as it wasn't true. She goes back to shouting that she doesn't want to hear it. I offered to give her customer services number so they can explain it. She declines that too. She just wants to make her payment. As I'm scrambling to get change from the till which is still locked up in the back, remember, the store isn't open yet, she's shouting for us to just give her the change already. She's done with us. Etc. Etc. She gets her change, and stomps out still shouting about how this is bullshit and we are fucking her over. And that's the shit I can't stand. If she had just managed to conduct herself like an adult for 5 minutes, I could easily have explained to her exactly what we did, and how she's exactly where she left off. I have literal mountains of paperwork proving what we did. But because she was so set on having her stupid tantrum, she has worked herself up over a fictitious issue to yell. Doctor gave a customer nicer, more expensive merchandise for the same price slash payoff as what they had. Customer throws a fit because she thinks she started over on it when she didn't, won't listen to proof otherwise. Treats the person who did her a favor like garbage. Is now banned from getting anything else. Customer informs me the store closed prematurely last week. First time writing here, but long time lurker. I'm the store manager of a pool supply store and I have seen some of my fair share of stories. Today in particular stands out to me because a customer came into my store and pulled me aside to tell me that last week she arrived to the store at 5.55pm to buy something, we close at 6pm. I asked her what day it was and she proceeds to tell me it was on a Wednesday. Saying this isn't how we should run our businesses. Like ma'am, I don't answer to you, so I don't know who this we is but okay. Immediately I rebuke that statement, only mentally, because I closed on Wednesday and have never locked those doors even a second before they were supposed to be. Rather than call her out for it though, as she does spend fairly decent sums of money with us, I turned the situation around and informed her I'd have a talk with my staff about ensuring that the doors do stay open until 6pm so that it doesn't happen again, even though it didn't happen to begin with. TL, doctor, customer told me the store closed prematurely on a day I worked, when I know for a fact it didn't, and I'm just not sure how she could possibly be daft enough to not figure out how to read a clock. You say I have glue on my hands? How dare you? Disclaimer, this is my first post ever, and English isn't my first language, so please be gentle. I'm working part time at an organic supermarket, so aside from the normal strange customers, we also have a whole lot of esoteric folks running around. But these people are mostly quite normal, if you forget about the pendulums and their obsession for homeopathy. But this man was just crazy. So, after about 2 months of working there, I was still quite nervous as a cashier, even if I was pretty used to the things you experience in this position by now. In the later hours of a day in mid-December a man was going to be checked out by me. He was pretty wealthy looking, which isn't unusual, because many of our customers are wealthy mid leckless people. I can't really remember what he was buying, but it wasn't much, I think he only bought some apples and tofu. 
he wanted to pay with his bank card. Because the confirmation process is mostly done by Sigancha, so we have the device for the cards next to us, and not in front of the customer. He gives me his card and I realize there is something on the card, it felt and smelled like glue, so I thought to myself that I would give the customer a heads up so he does not smear this goo on himself and his groceries. The conversation was originally in German and three years ago, so I some things might not translate or be remembered very well. Me, excuse me, but could it be possible that you have glue on your hands, there is something on your card. C. Going immediately into full on rage mode, who do you think you are? You can't just accuse customers to having glue on their hands. Me. Extremely confused at this point, because he seemed totally normal before. Sorry, I just wanted. C. Why do you even assume I have glue on my hands? I was in the laboratory the entire day, how should I have gotten glue on my hands? This is extremely unpolite of you. By this point I was totally quiet and just let it go over me because I was feared to saying anything. He would rage the entire payment process and left very angry looking. The customers that stood after him in line looked as confused as me. To this day, I still don't know what made him this angry and I don't know why he felt the need to state the lab. Maybe he was hiding something or maybe and more likely he just had a bad day. But still, this was just strange as hell. Customer has a meltdown over $10. Finally, a full-scale crazy nova at my till. Buckle up buckaroos. I work at an international supermarket chain that allows staff to sit at tills. I was having a pretty swell day. Nearly every customer had been a friendly regular so all is cruisy. Until I spot an older woman. Host trying really hard to look younger unloading a her trolley onto my tread. She brings the trolley up, but leaves some produce in it, I ask her if they were from our store, she doesn't answer. Instead she pushes back past some customers in line to grab more bags. I just start pulling out the prod and scanning it in, I could tell it was ours, but wanted to give her a chance to get it out herself. I scan in all her groxeries quietly, things are chill, and it come to $149.07. I read the total and ask her cash or card. She doesn't answer again and just continues to slowly put the items in one at a time. I assume she didn't hear and wait until she finishes. I read the total again and finally get an answer of card. I enable the FPS and she sticks her card in. She then asks what the total is, keep in mind it's displayed on the FPS machine. I repeat the total a third time for her, still cheery and smiling. Her card declines. Cool no issue, she asks if she can pay some with cash, and then the rest on card. Oh of course, no worries I say as I accept the cash off her. She says it's $50, just as I'm putting it in, but I still half of it in hand and I remembered exactly what she gave. $120, $110 and $25. A little dread knot forms as I knew she wouldn't take the facts of basic math while I start to explain what she's actually given me. But she cuts me off and instantly gets aggressive, while repeating it's $50. I gave you $50, that's $50 apostrophe. I learned from this sub about quick change artists and I also didn't want my till to be out, least of all for someone like this. I start to get the adrenaline shakes, I hate this as it makes my voice quiver, even though I'm not scared of this woman in the slightest. I don't want her to hear my voice shake and think it's an opening to attack. So I quickly but politely tell her. I'll have to quickly go and count my till, that way I know exactly what it is. I'll call a manager up, so we can suspend this in the meantime, while waiting for a manager, she doesn't take long to go from frustrated to full blown bitch. Go ahead. I can wait, I've got all day. I know she's trying to use the waiting to pressure me, I just smile and say no worries, she gets madder. Yeah. I can stand here all day, rather than just sitting around, I can pull up a chair too. How about you offer me a seat too ha? Huh? I'm dumbfounded, but keepy face neutral. The line is long and full of regulars who love me, none of the other tills have chairs so I smile, stand and say. Not a problem ma'am please, 
feel free to have my chair I awkwardly push my office chair out of the register cube and directly to her, she sits down without a thank you while everyone in line judges her harshly. I know they are all on my side if I need a witness to vouch. A manager finally arrives, suspends the customer sale and jumps in for me while I go to count. I'm not even to the office door 10 meters away when I hear her screaming at him for moving her trolley aside so he can serve others. She starts yelling. Don't you touch my trolley. I just want to buy my groceries. She points over at me. I already gave that girl $50 and she accused me of shortchanging her. The liar I would never. I and Amp, the manager make eye contact and I try to give a look that says no I definitely fucking didn't and left to count up. While counting, I could hear her screaming through the thick brick walls. I couldn't make out words, but she was consistently going for it. With our money weighing machine, it only took me a few minutes to count, and it turned out I was right. She only gave me $40. I head back out, and she's practically out the doors, attempting to leave with her full trolley. The manager who jumped in for me has left the till and is refusing to let go of her trolley and she's screaming right in his face. I already gave the girl $50, give me my fucking shopping. Then suddenly, like an angel, our head manager arrives out of nowhere, just in time. He mellowed her out by telling her she had two choices. Either come back in and pay or he'll call the cops and file a report. She gapes and says of course I want to pay, sure you did I gave the head manager the details and quickly went back to work, not wanting to be dragged into her more of spite. The manager ended up just giving her the $10 to get rid of her, but also got her to pay for her groceries. He basically said to us later that if she shows up again to buzz him immediately so he can boot her out. P.S. The customers who had all been waiting and dealing with her tantrum overheard that she did only give me $40. So they all laughed even harder at her when she left.